Late Night Hell continues as we do one of the, 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 the sessions that I really, really enjoy. Come on, we have fun, Daryl. Must it be called a session? Well, I don't know if you're analyzing me or okay. I'm analyzing you. So, yeah, it's a session. Yeah, a segment, session, segment, whatever. Yeah. whatever. Anyway, part of the show uh, that's kind of fun is that uh, Daryl and I just get a few minutes to chat. And uh, and talk. Let, let's before we talk about health, let's talk about. Yeah, we're on iTunes now, which is really terrific, and we've been highly ranked on iTunes. And we encourage people to go to uh, iTunes.com, and they can either search for us or they can go to LateNightHealth.com. And there's a big button that says iTunes. Mm-hmm. They push the button, and they go right to us. So, uh, like other podcasts, I take it you can download these podcasts off of iTunes to uh, save them to your you can PC, your laptop, or a- tablet, or whatever. Or iPhone, or Android, or whatever. Yes, sir. And then listen to them uh, at your leisure? Yes, sir. Ah, that's great news. No, it really is. And with the thousands of shows up there, uh, we're very uh, positively ranked. Th- and surprising things come out of the episodes. I mean, uh, we try to study up before we go into an episode but uh, occasionally something will come up like the last guest uh, Isabella did you have any idea that Dr. Ben Carson did her surgeries not a clue wow not a clue it's a big one absolutely (laughs) I don't think he's does he practice anymore I have no idea I don't he needs a fallback position at this point I think I think he does (laughs) he he isn't gonna make it but that's you know um, it's it's an interesting um, thing that he's, you know, that he did this. I mean, he literally, she said it, saved yeah. her life. Yeah. You know, um, we were talking about kids. She was very mature, too. She was. Right? Yeah, she, she chose her words uh, carefully. You could tell there was a thought process going on behind it rather than just ready, fire, aim. Yeah. A lot of kids, you know, it's Art Linkletter whole, built an entire empire on kids say the darndest things, right? Absolutely. And they're completely honest, and a lot of times they don't have a filter. Right. And she seemed to be filtering effectively, let's just put it that way. She's had media training <laughs> of some kind. <laughs> that could be. Uh, the... Um, the world today, <coughs> coughing. We were talking with uh, Dr. Uh, Jamie Kaufman in the last hour about acid reflux. Oh, that's a tough one. It really is. Do you do you have it? I in spades, and and it's it's really tough. Ice cream, um, anything with tomato based sauce uh, affects it. It's the acidity, I, I assume, you know, but. Uh, you can go ahead and you can take things to get it settled out, uh, and they'll work 80% of the time, but that 20% when it doesn't, oh, my heavens, you're in for a rocky night. Yeah. No, yeah, it's I, tough. Yeah, it is tough. Try some probiotic. I mean... You had mentioned that, and uh, I think I've got some in the in the uh, late night health slash uh, here's to your health slash Dr. Tony Cupboard uh, I keep back there. Yeah. So I should uh, maybe see if what, what's in there. Yeah, no, I tried it, and it... <laughs> I was amazed. Somebody told me that it would work. And if I take it um, um, enough, uh, it actually stops it. I've actually, we had a couple of uh, people, interviews on the uh, show where they were saying that, uh, you know, all these anti-acid things we're taking, whether it be, you know, there's, there's several brand names uh, that uh, neutralizing the acid in your stomach is not necessarily a good idea health-wise, and it can create other problems. No, it's, um, yeah, and uh, including cancer. Yeah, it doesn't get much worse than that. No, it really doesn't. And I guess not being a doctor myself, obviously, but having for <laughs> almost— one on the radio. Right, a doctor on the radio. Um, uh, with all the stuff that keeps hitting the esophagus— and the throat area, that acid, it, it, that's what apparently can eventually cause some kind of cancer. In well, that it, it makes the, the when the, the acid comes back up the esophagus and gets to the vocal cords and all of that, it, it makes the creepiest sound. It sounds like frying bacon. It does. It's not good. No, absolutely. But have you, you've trained lots and lots and lots of 
the, the air talent. Yeah, yeah right? absolutely. Did, I ran I ran a broadcasting school for four years. How many of them did this before they started to talk? <clears throat> Uh, almost everybody, and, and in fact, uh, there are professional voiceover artists that have been doing it for 20 or 30 years, and they do the same thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, it's not good. It's a, not a good thing. I, yeah. I told the story about Ricardo Montalban. Yeah, and then uh, Rich- also cold water is, is not uh, good for your voice either. You should have it at ambient room temperature. Right, warm, almost uh, slightly tepid. Yeah. Uh, is is what they say, which is not just means it comes out of a dirty cupboard. I think. Yeah, exactly. I, do you eat ice cream almost every night? No, I I did for a while. I was on sort of a a, a binge, but I, I fell off that wagon. And maybe a once, once or twice a month at this point. Well, that's good. What about spicy foods? As as much and as often as I can. Yeah, I love spicy foods too. Not as hot as you do <laughs> but I, I I'm still way up there with uh, with pretty hot food uh, coming up next we're going to talk about do sit-ups suck and I know that they suck for me uh, can you do them in, in a really sucky way uh. yeah, in a really sucky way yeah no form at all but they're the way they teach them is not really healthy and our friend Mary Ann Ryan, a physical therapist, and the author of Baby Bod Book is uh, going to tell us how to do them correctly and why they don't work well. All right, more coming up here on Late Night Health. Don't go away. Mary Ann and I will be back in just a second. 